Okay, now I have the dried yarn on the skein winder, or unwinder in this case, and it is traveling to the ball winder and being wound into a ball. You can, of course, use a hand crank ball winder, which I started out with, but my sore shoulder issue led me to buy an electric one. This is Tug by SawyerBee.com, S-A-W-Y-E-R-B-E-E.com. But there are lots of other companies, or several other companies that make this type of thing. But, so once it's wound into a ball, I will um, put that little Tyvek tag back onto the ball so I can keep it identified and I will stick it on with the safety pins. Okay, the dye is complete, the yarn is dried, it's wound into little balls, and each ball has the Tyvek tag attached with a safety pin and a sample of that yarn color stuck to it. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the colors that I that just dyed. Earlier I had dyed these colors, these shades here were a mixture of these two colors combined in different strings to get these colors. But my record keeping wasn't accurate and I could not reproduce it. So I wanted to make these color, these, some colors like this. My first attempt, the previous dye round, I didn't get it. I got these colors. So they were too blue. I needed more green added to it. So now this time around, I think I got closer to what I wanted. I'm working with this blue and this green. I've got two shades here, 50% of each of the blue and the green in different strengths or different DOS gave me two shades. And then in um, the same, two colors, 75% blue and 25% of that ugly 1960s avocado green called Grasshopper gave me these shades. So now I'm exploring colors maybe to weave water with. So I think I was pretty successful with that. I like those formulas. Okay, then I my next goal is I had previously woven these two shades of blue which were a mixture of Sea Breeze, which is this strong turquoise blue. So that mixed with a mix I call Azure Blue, which is a mix. It's this blue. It's a mixture of Sea Breeze, National Blue, and Black. So when I mix that turquoise and the Azure Blue, I got these two shades. They're in pale shades. 0.025% and 0.05. But I thought they were very pretty, so I thought I'd like to have some deeper values of that. And that's what I have got here, some deeper values of those three. Okay, so that came out pretty good. Then, just with the um, ProCam dye powder called Forest Green number 725. I had dyed these three shades and I thought they were very nice. A nice soft uh, bluish green. And I decided I wanted to go one shade darker. So this is what I just came up with uh, out of the dye pot. Just the shadows there. Are. It looks a little dark but I, th I think it will be useful. I tend to go to shy away from the dark colors because I've made so many ugly dark colors, I guess. Then my next goal was to work on some skin tones. So I had dyed this in a red brown, and this was before I understood what uh, the percentage system, and so I didn't have a good uh, way of uh, reproducing that. But I plugged that color into my chart and came up with these four shades. So I think they will be good in skin tones. 
looks pretty good. So that one is a 0.1%, 0.05%, 0.025%, but then I decided to go off the charts and go even lighter. And I did this out of the unbleached. And um, it looks like maybe it didn't have any dye in it at all until you set it beside some unbleached dye. And there is a hint of pink in there. But maybe it's good not to go off the charts. It, it really isn't uh, registering a paler shade of this. But of course, it is the unbleached, which has more yellow in it. But it was just an experiment, and that's one thing with dyeing, is there's always a um, chance to experiment and explore what to do next. So what I will do next is um, make note of the formulas that I used, and either put them in a, you can either put them in a little button notebook. That note, there was a mistake at the bottom, I don't know what I did, so you're always going to have mistakes, that's just part of dyeing. Uh, or you can put them on these little business cards that I've altered uh, to wind yarn onto and then stick them into a plastic business card holder. Either one. But it's kind of nice to have a record of what you did if you might want to repeat it. And then to, it helps give you uh, information for your next dyeing um, session.